Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and in this video I will show you how you can work with the Aruba OS 8.4 REST API to obtain information from Aruba OS mobility controllers using Python. The mobility controllers have a very powerful API and it's really easy to reach the API. It's just a matter of logging into the controller. Let me do that here. And then uh, let me also show you the API. So I'm logged in now and the, you can find the API on this URL. And let me just refresh it here. And you can see and I can go through the API using this uh, this interface. And then what you can do is you can get and post all kinds of information. So for example, if I show you uh, let me show you the following. Let's go into interfaces and show you the VLAN interface information. Let's try it out. And let me scroll down a bit. You can s you can get loads of information here uh, if you get that uh, if you make that call. Uh, so it's really easy uh, to use this. Uh, we call it Swagger interface to obtain the information. Another thing that we can do in the Swagger interface is using a filter. Now you can see here that there is a lot of information um, that is obtained from the controller. Now what I can do is I can add a filter here. Let me just uh, copy and paste it because it is quite a text here. So let me just edit there and uh, try it out. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to filter on the uh, VLAN interface VLAN IP field and on the MTU field. So I'm only I'm only obtaining the MTU and IP information from this call. So let me try it out here and show you the body. You can see now here I'm getting the IP information and I'm getting the MTU. So I'm not getting the full JSON response anymore. So I can filter on objects, uh, but I can also filter on specific fields. And let me show you um, another example here. So uh, let me get the VLAN name ID. If I try this out, I you can see I get both the VLAN uh, both VLAN information back from from the controller. Now, for example, if I want to filter on a VLAN, so if I only want to get v, say VLAN 101, I can filter on that VLAN field. Let me add that filter. Uh, it's this one. So what I'm doing here is I am filtering on VLAN ID um, 101, right? So equals 101. So if my VLAN ID equals 101, I need to get that information. So let me just add that filter and try it out. And as you can see, only VLAN ID 101 is returned. So this, that's the Swagger interface. You can find a lot of information in the documentation. So if you go to uh, Aruba networks.com so support.arubanetworks.com uh, check out the documentation here you can find the Aruba OS 8.4 API guide here you can you can download it let me now move to Python uh, it's great to use the Swagger interface but it would be nice if we can also obtain information from the controllers using Python so I've written a Python script that logs into the controller, obtains information from the controller, displays that information, and then logs out of the controller again. Um, before I explain the script, it's important to understand that this is not a full-blown Python course. Um, I assume that you already know a little bit uh, how Python works. Just to start off, I am importing some libraries that I'm going to need for this script. So a very important one is the requests library. Uh, the requests library allows you to uh, perform API calls. So do the gets and the post request. Um, the other thing, uh, so yeah, so I have defined three definitions 
logging into the mobility controller, logging out of the mobility controller and performing the get call. Okay. Um, and the other thing is I've got the main part here at the bottom. Uh, and then this part I am uh, asking for some input. So, um, so when I run the script, um, I'm, I get prompted to enter the IP address, username, password, and a VLAN ID. And then based on that, uh, on the input, I am logging into control into the controller. So I'm doing that here, obtaining a cookie. And, and then, uh, so if my login is not 401, so the response I'm getting back from the login MC definition is either the cookie or it is 401, which I'll, I'll show you later on when I go through that uh, definition. Um, so if it's not 401, uh, I am performing two get um, uh, sequences. So one uh, get sequence here and another one in the second part. And then finally, I'm logging out of the controller uh, again. Now let me show you the login definition. So going up here, what I'm doing here is I am providing the URL, which is the login URL. Um, you can see here with the, um, so I'm providing the device IP address here, it's placed there, and I am um, creating a credentials variable here. Okay, so I need those credentials, so they are the username and password, uh, logging into the controller. And then I've got a, a try accept sequence here. Okay, so um, so it's a this is, so the try accept is a great function of Python that allows you to uh, to execute commands in the try uh, command section. Um, so whenever there is a failure in in this section, so in this section here, um, Python will execute the accept uh, section here. So if so normally when you run Python scripts and there is an error in the script, the script stops. So with the try accept sequence, you avoid this. And it's a great thing, for example, when you only have a limited amount of rest sessions available on the device. Now in this situation, um, when there is a failure logging in, I can return an error code, which is in this, uh, in this example is 401. Um, in the requests post uh, line here, uh, I'm adding some parameters. So I'm adding the URL. That's this here. Um, my verify is false, so I'm not uh, verifying any certificates on any certificates. And I am providing the credentials here, which is the uh, username and password. And now, so the response that is returned uh, contains a uh, global result. Uh, a dictionary and that global result dictionary contains a variable called UID Aruba and the UID Aruba that's that is your cookie value so that is the value that you need in order to be able to uh, perform any subsequent rest calls um, so uh, yeah doing some print stuff here so which you will see later on when I do the demo and I am returning the cookie uh, back to the calling function here so that's the cookie here. Now, and then, uh, so, and then for the logout, let me just also show the logout with, which is very, uh, very straightforward. The logout definition here. The only thing I need to provide is the device IP address, which I am adding here into the URL. And then I am just posting this, uh, this URL to the controller. So that's really simple. Now it gets interesting where we are getting the rest definitions. <clears throat> so uh, let me just go down again. So um, what I'm doing here is I have two rest call. I'm making two rest calls. Uh, one is a rest call without a filter, no filter. And the second one is by adding a filter here. Okay. Um, and let, now let me just go up to the get rest definition here. For the rest definition, I need some information. I need the device IP information. I need the cookie. Uh, I need obviously I need the URL, and optionally I need the filter. 
so what I'm going to do is for the cookie definition, I need to create a dictionary because um, in the request, um, I am providing the cookie which needs to be a dictionary containing that cookie value. Um, so the other thing, I've got the full URL here with the uh, with some additional uh, options here. So I'm using the device. Uh, so the dev so that's the device IP. That's your URL, and that is your filter. Um, one important thing, and uh, let me just show that to you here, when I make the call to the definition, is that I am adding, I'm also adding the UID Aruba uh, cookie value in the URI. I have to do this. If I don't do this, um, I'm not getting information back. So, in addition to using, uh, so so in addition to the requirement for having a cookie value being sent with the request, I also need to provide that cookie value in the URL. Okay, um, and so uh, so I'm doing the request here. Uh, so the full URL, again, not uh, checking on any certificates, providing the AOS cookie, and I am returning the JSON response here uh, back to the calling function or to the calling part here. And uh, so that information is returned uh, here, and I'm performing a pretty print. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing a so pretty print is a library that allows you to um, show information in a um, you know like in a nice formatted way. Now let me show you the result. Let me run this uh, Python script. Let's see what it brings me. So let me enter the IP address. One five five. The username, the password. And I want to get information from VLAN 101. As you can see here, um, logged into the computer, or sorry, logged into the mobility controller. <laughs> um, my cookie value is displayed here. So this is the first uh, uh, get call that I'm doing. As you can see the URL here. And this is the uh, pretty print information that is returned. Okay, uh, so this is the second call that I'm making, and you can see here in this part that I'm adding a filter. The other thing that you can see actually in both requests is the UID Aruba entry here, and you can see here in the result uh, I am only getting the VLAN 101 information back from the mobility controller. So that's really cool and that's working. Now this concludes this short video covering REST API capabilities with the Aruba OS mobility controllers. If you like the video, please hit the like button and if you have any suggestions or ideas for videos, uh, please let us know. Have a great day. Bye.